Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys five crucial security settings that every Samsung Galaxy owner should update and configure on their Samsung Galaxy smartphone. These settings are going to make sure that your phone is secure from as many angles as possible. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, the very first thing you want to do is you want to enable device protection, which is a built-in protection against malware and spyware. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings, you want to go all the way down, and then go into battery and device care. Now at the bottom right over here, you're going to see device protection. Now in my case, this is turned off on this phone, but I'm going to turn it off with you so you can see the process. So you go inside, you can see it says last scanned never, and it says here turn this on to get additional defense against viruses and spyware. Then you get to read the terms and accept them by turning it on. So when you turn this on, let me tap over here. Now the device protection is in fact active and you can, if you want, scan your phone to make sure there is nothing on there that is dangerous. If the phone finds it, it is also going to remove it. So this would take some time. So if you start this, make sure you dedicate five to 10 minutes or something in that range. But you can see it goes over each app one by one. So let's go back for now. I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to show you one more thing that's very important in relation to the device protection. What you want to do is you want to go back, okay, and you want to tap on this button here under device care in the main section and go to about device care. Now when you do that, you're going to see this option here that says update security engine. Now you're not going to see this if device protection is not enabled. Once you enable it, you're going to go in here and you are going to see the update security engine option. And all you do basically is tap on it. And what that's going to do is it is going to update the security engine. So you're going to get the latest information protection against spyware and malware. So it says security engine updated. So you're good to go. Now there is one more thing. Some people, they turn this on for if for any reason you don't like it, you can tap over here go to device protection settings and turn it off and also you can activate auto scan apps daily and auto scan when installing apps now when you install an application for example from google play store it already gets scanned by google but then it gets rescanned with the device protection so it's kind of a double protection and it's just nice to have now I will let you know some carriers and some regions around the world in the US disable this option. So if you're not seeing this option on your phone, unfortunately it has been disabled by your carrier or the country slash region. But anyway, that's number one. Let's move on. Now the next thing that is pretty amazing and highly useful is going to be under security. So let me go up here. Here's security and privacy. Now, if you cannot find what I'm showing you right here because your phone software is a little bit older, all you have to do is search for that particular setting. So let me show you what the setting is. So under security and privacy, if you scroll down, there's an option here that says secure Wi-Fi. So let's say in your case, it's not here. Maybe you have a One UI 4.0 or 3.0 device. This is One UI 5.0, the latest version. All you do is just go into the search under settings and search for secure Wi-Fi. It's going to show up, okay? This is included in most Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So once you're here, you tap this guy. And basically, secure Wi-Fi is something you want to enable and use anytime you're using Wi-Fi in a coffee shop in the airplane or any Wi-Fi you do not trust. So your home is fine, your friend's home is fine, your workplace is fine, but if you go to a random coffee shop, that Wi-Fi is not secure. People can spy on what you're doing, on your network activity. So if you enable the secure Wi-Fi by tapping continue, let's tap it one more time, you're gonna see this option that says ready to protect. You get a free plan from Samsung, 1,024 megabytes per month. You can subscribe to get more, but I think that should be enough for basic functions. So you tap on protect. Once you do that, you can start connecting to random Wi-Fi's 
and do things securely over your phone. An example real quick, let's say you want to log in to your bank account. Before you log in, activate protect, then connect to Wi-Fi, then log in, and then all your information is going to be encrypted and secure. Once you're done, tap on stop and you're good to go. If you're just browsing a random website, it's not that important. But if you're logging into your finance apps or any other sensitive information, you want to protect and then browse for maximum security. There's a couple other options connected to it right here. You can take a look at those if you want. But let's move on to the next tactic. Now back at the settings, what you want to do, again, you want to go to your security setting. And like I said, if you don't see it here, just search for it. So what you want to do is under security and privacy, all the way at the bottom, you're going to see other security settings. You want to tap on this one and then you want to scroll down and you want to make sure security policy updates is enabled. Okay. You don't want this to be manual. You want this to be automatic at all times. Basically, it says it right here. It keeps your phone secure with the latest security policy. That's just a whole bunch of code that goes into your phone. So make sure this is always enabled. Just an additional layer of security for your phone. Now, one thing that could demolish the security of your phone is if you install an application outside of Play Store or the Galaxy Store. That could happen accidentally or on purpose, but without you even realizing it. So here's what you want to do. Again, go into security and privacy. Go all the way down and look for this option, install unknown apps. Again, let me show you one thing. Search, if you don't see it there, unknown. Even though I misspelled it, it corrected that it's right here. So tap on that. And basically you go inside and you want to make sure you disable most of these. Now this one here is safe. That's the Samsung Galaxy Store. This one is enabled. Okay. But you don't want to enable this, which means Chrome can install applications on your phone, bypassing Google Play Store, bypassing Galaxy Store. That's not good. So if you see this as enabled, as it often happens, some websites prompt you to enable this feature. And when people are not aware of what they're doing, they might feel like it's okay to do it. Okay. And then this is going to show up as enabled, disable it, disable Bluetooth, disable drive, disable random applications. So nobody can actually install anything, especially an app on your phone, which could be a malicious application. Okay. But like I said, Galaxy Store should be fine. Everything else, just keep it turned off. And if there's ever a need to actually install an unknown app from Chrome, you will get a prompt and you can give it a one time approval to do so. But this must be turned off. All right, let's move on. Now, the final thing that you want to do is you want to go to your settings. And this time, let's just use the search functionality. Search for Google Play System Update. Okay, so click on it and then once you are there, tap and go inside and just do this every now and then once a week, make sure the Google Play system update is the latest version. Once you're here, you don't have to tap this again because once you go inside, it just does the run automatically. If there's any updates, it's just going to push it right away. And that's just another layer of security. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?